So the last part is the percent of precipitation. In the previous example, we have PB2 plus and AG plus in the beaker. We add from outside beaker, we add Cl minus. So according to, to the Cl minus initially added from the beaker two, we will obtain concentration of Cl minus in the solution at t equals zero after dilution. And this concentration of the Cl minus is the key that determine qualitatively if we have a precipitation of the two ions, if we don't have a precipitation of any ion, or if we have a precipitation of one ion without precipitating the second. So it depends the case. One of the three cases depends on the calculation of Cl minus initially in the solution. So it depends on the Cl minus initially added. This is a qualitative analysis. So now we pass to the quantitative analysis. This is the IP scale. This is the IP scale. Suppose you add Cl minus, so you will have if Cl minus initially added, we have IP of AgCl and we have another IP of PbCl2. As we said, if IP obtained is in this area, that means IP1 is less than KSP1 and IP2 is less than KSP2. We don't have precipitation of any IP. And if IP1 is in this area and IP2, okay, so we, ha we have a precipitation of the first and we have a precipitation of the second. And between KSP1 and KSP2, we precipitate one, without precipitating the second. So now, what are the types of questions? What is the concentration of the first ion when the second ion starts to precipitate? What is the percent of precipitation of the first ion when the second ion starts to precipitate? What is the percent of remaining of the first ion when the second ion starts to precipitate? What is the mean? Suppose we choose a concentration of Cl minus that give IP1 at this point. IP1 at this point means we precipitate ion one but did you have complete precipitation we don't know we have to calculate if we are at this point we precipitate ion one did we precipitate completely we have to calculate so if cl minus added give ip1 this value or Cl minus added give IP on the second value. Both cases qualitatively means that we precipitate that we precipitate the first ion Ag plus. But do we precipitate the same percent? No. The Cl, the Cl, the Ag plus precipitated at this point is different from Ag plus 
precipitated at the second point or at this point. Suppose Cl minus added is at the point I noted X. What is the meaning of Cl minus added that give IP at this point? That means we precipitated a certain percent of Ag plus and we will start to precipitate the second. So the question now, what is the percent of the first ion precipitated at the beginning of the precipitation of the second? This point is, don't forget that this point is the starting of precipitation of the second ion. And this point is a, cert is a certain percent of precipitation of the first. X point is the starting of precipitation of the second ion and is a certain percent of the precipitation of the first. This precipitation might be 20%, 30%, 50%, 90%, 100%. I don't know. I have to calculate. But I'm sure that this point is the starting of the precipitation of the second. So we have several questions. What is the concentration of the first ion when the, third, when the second ion starts to precipitate? That means we are at the, point, at the point X. At the point X, we have a certain percent of the first precipitated. And in the second, we start to precipitate, so we have to calculate. I pass to an example. A mixture consists of 0 0.01 CaNO32 and 0 0.01 AgNO3. If a source of Na2SO4 is added gradually to the solution, determine which salt will precipitate the first? Will the second ion start to precipitate? And what is the percent of ion precipitate? Mm -hmm. I will pass to solve this exercise on the sketch. Okay. So I will open the discussion. You can ask any question you want. First, what would happen? Shabab, it's Maune. Hey, doctor. Okay. Hey, doctor. Yeah. Okay. The first question is to analyze 
what would happen when we mix this ions? I have a solution containing containing CaNO3 and AgNO3. So we add external source, which is Na2SO4. So first we have ion Ca2 plus, NO3 minus, Ag plus, and NO3 minus, and from outside beaker, we have Na plus and SO4 2 minus. KSP given of Ca SO4 and KSP of Ag2 SO4. What is the meaning of this value? That means the reactions possible are Ca2 plus plus SO4 to minus that give CaSO4 and the secondary action is 2Ag plus plus SO4 to minus the reaction is favored in direction 1 to give Ag2 SO4 solid. So by theory, we can have a precipitation of both the Ca2 plus and Ag plus. And we know that the precipitation of the ion depends on the IP of CaSO4 and IP of Ag2 SO4. So we calculate, we calculate uh, the minimum amount. So now calculate the minimum amount of SO4 to minus to precipitate, for example, Ca2 plus. What to do is to write IP of CaSO4 equal KSP. This is the starting of the precipitation. So Ca2 plus initial times SO4 to minus initial in the solution should be equal to KSP, which is equal 1.9.1 times 10 minus 4 is given. So I SO4 to minus, SO4 to minus is, uh, what is KSP? This is the value. KSP should be given in the exercise, okay? Is equal to KSP of, oh. Uh, CaSO4. Okay, and KSP is given, so I calculated SO4 to minus equal KSP divided by Ca2 plus initial. What is Ca2 plus initial? Ca2 plus initial, don't forget that the concentration is 0 0.01 and the second is, o, is also 0 0.01. So Ce2 plus is divided by 0 0.01 and the value obtained is 9.1, 10 minus 4. What is the meaning of this concentration? The meaning we need
at least SO4 to minus in our solution initially equal 9.1 10 minus 4 to start this is qualitative to start the precipitation this is the minimum amount suppose we want to start to to make 20 percent precipitation so necessary we have to use amount greater than this value in order to precipitate 20 percent so this is the minimum amount okay by the same way what is SO4 to minus minimum to precipitate to start the precipitation of AG plus by the same way IP of AG SO4 of AG to SO4 should be greater than KSP or equal. We are at the starting. Equal. I, uh, KSP. Implies SO4 to minus needed. Initially. Is equal. KSP. Of AG plus square. So is equal to 0.14 amp. This is the minimum for precipitation of AG plus, and this is the minimum for precipitation of CA2 plus. Don't forget that Na2SO4 is added to this solution gradually. So if you use SO4 to minus as a conclusion. Needed. To precipitate. CA2 plus. Is less. Look 9.1 10 minus 4 is less than. SO4 to minus. Needed. To precipitate. AG plus. What is the meaning? That means CA2 plus will precipitate the first. CA2 plus will precipitate the first. Is it clear or not? Okay. Yes. Yeah. We pass. We pass to the second question. Will the second ion start to precipitate? This, is, this depends on the SO4 to minus add. Doctor? No. But sorry, I'm going to ask you about embryology. Uh, sorry, ecology. Okay. okay. I, I will stop. I will stop. Okay, we continue the exercise. Okay. We continue the exercise tomorrow. Then uh, we will do extra exercises. OK, so prepare the exercises of the solubility for tubular. OK.